This is a 1.6 kilogram piece of the Jakara 1 meteorite. And unlike most meteorites, this one has deep holes running a couple of inches into the stone. You almost never see this kind of thing in meteorites, which makes it incredibly unique. Let's talk about some theories surrounding its creation. Jakara meteorites are eukrites, which means that they're volcanic rocks that formed as lava cooled on the surface of asteroid 4 Vesta, essentially ancient extraterrestrial basalt. Vesta is the second largest asteroid in our solar system and resides in the asteroid belt. At some point, a massive impact blasted chunks of Vesta out into space, and after millions of years of wandering, some of those fragments crossed Earth's orbit and fell to ground, becoming meteorites like this one. Now, normally eukrites are dense and fine grain, so features like these large cavities really stand out. Some theories suggest that the holes might have formed because of differential weathering of softer inclusions. That's to say the stone has minerals embedded in it that were weaker than the surrounding basalt and erosion on earth caused them to disappear and leave these cavities. Along a similar line of thinking, when an asteroid impact partially melts the surrounding rock, it can also trap pockets of liquid or fragment rich breccia of other stones. If those didn't solidify uniformly, later erosion might carve out uneven holes where that material used to be. Of course, some of the missing material could be explained by shock fractures that were later widened by weathering on Earth too. Alongside the big holes, you can also see smaller vesicles where gas bubbles were once trapped and then frozen in place for billions of years. While I like to think of those vesicles as tiny bubbles, I like to think of the bigger holes as little caves. So I actually call this the Caves of Vesta meteorite, which I think is a pretty unique way to refer to it. Now, Jakar 1 stones are a pretty common meteorite as meteorites go. Many tons have been recovered, mostly from the Sahara Desert near Jakarta, Libya. They're typically gray in color with a fine grain texture that some collectors call a little boring compared to some flashier meteorites, but every so often something truly unique like this specimen turns up and changes the story. I love Jakarta 1 meteorites because of their known origin and the rounded meteoritic shapes they often take, and they're also a lot more affordable as a meteorite goes if you want a larger specimen you can really hold in your hand. So while most Jakara stones may look ordinary, this specimen shows just how much variety and mystery can be locked inside even the most common of meteorites. Want to see more space rocks? Like this video and share it with a friend.